Hey guys, Jack Scalfani here, and I'm heading out to Gallatin, Tennessee, to a place I went to when I first got to Tennessee about two and a half, three years ago. It's called Top Hog. It's a barbecue place. I did a barbecue wars there. Well, my buddy told me, Brian, who did the pig head with me, he said uh, their burger is amazing. It's like one of the best burgers he's had in Tennessee. And I'm like, what? I'm like a barbecue place. And he said, yeah. So I'm now heading out to a barbecue joint to do a burger wars. Go figure that, huh? So we're heading out there right now. I'm pretty excited. See, uh, he says it's the best. So we're going to give it a try. So Doug's not here yet. I don't know if you guys remember this place, but uh, hopefully they don't remember me. It's all good. I loved it the first time, but I just wanted to get in here and try a burger and not make a big deal about it. Okay, so the place is packed. It's 11.45 and there's already a waiting list to sit down. Now you guys remember when I came here, nobody was here, it was empty. So it's come a long way, I guess. Um, anyway, I'm washing my hands in the, in the men's room and I saw the sign on the wall and it says, how can a man who can hit a deer at 250 yards keep missing the toilet? Well, when I'm pointing my gun at a deer, my stomach's usually not in the way, so there you go. Okay, this place is slamming. I just got my table. Doug should be here any minute. Uh, anyway, let me show you what it looks like. So here are the plates and the sandwiches. They got everything. Chicken tenders, barbecue ribs, barbecue chicken, catfish. They won best catfish in Sumner County. So, I'm who knows? Nothing's better than a mason jar. I don't care where you live. I don't care what you say. Regular, regular tea or sweet tea in a mason jar. It's just ha it's a half to be. I forgot this was a review. I thought we were coming to eat. Tony goes, no, this is a review. And I went, oh. <laughs> no, you forgot we were filming? <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly never even gave it a thought that there was a filming. Thing. Right, right. Well, you I know. I thought I wore my good sweater. Yeah, okay, <laughs> good. So, do you know what we're, we're reviewing? Pardon me? Do you know what we're doing? Yeah, we're going to have burgers and. Uh, and maybe something else. We don't know. Uh, no, I don't know either. But, All right. Um, I'm, look, I'm looking forward to this. This is cool. All right. So now Brian said to us that it was the best burger he's ever had. That's what he said, yeah. He uh, said to the side of catfish, too. He said, no, All right. Well, I'm going to get catfish for us to share okay. and try that out, too. But I'm telling you right now, for three seventy five, I'm not seeing it being the best burger I've ever had. That was not my first impression, but the reviews were pretty good on it. So really, oh, you checked on them? I checked on the reviews. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so let's. So how let's, does this work? Yeah. So I'm gonna chew yours first. Let's talk about what you have. What'd you order? I ordered a regular cheeseburger, no mustard, no mayo, no ketchup, and then right. a normal garden to go on. So it's a basic burger. Basic cheeseburger. Okay. Okay. Got it. And regular fries. Regular frozen, you know, fries. <laughs> I love that. Throw all that goes in there. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, that is her famous catfish. According to all the reviews, they make some pretty doggone good catfish. So they said they're number one in Summer County. Yeah, I'm, look won. I'm looking forward to the catfish. Yeah, we're gonna have fun with that. Okay, so you're trying the country fries, right? Yeah, it looks like uh, sort of a home fry that I would make at home. So. Yeah, it's a home fry. Just a home fry? Just a home fry. I could use could use some seasoning. Yeah, your French fries weren't seasoned. But a either. but a much better start than frozen French fries. Okay, so your French fries had nothing, no salt, no nothing. No, nah, no salt, no pepper. I don't get it. It's it's so inexpensive to put a special seasoning on there. It wouldn't take much at all. But everybody does plain fries, so that's why I want to get the chance to try something different. Uh, I go with something different. It's a nice size burger. I got some grilled onions on here. Though. Oh, you do? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, cool. Produce looks good. Let's see what you got there. Let's see. Nice. Um, better than I had expected. Better than you expected. Okay, good don't give me too much. Don't give me too much. Yep. I want you to think about it as you eat it because your first time with me. And then we're outside, we'll give it kudos or give it crit critique or whatever, okay? Okay, so we're going catfish next. It looks, all right, just as it looks, it looks a little dark, doesn't it? Are you okay with the color? Yeah, of the, yeah I'm okay with the color. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, this is the catfish. Got a side order. Don't tell me anything. I just want to capture you enjoying it or tasting it. All right, here we go. It's a nice sized burger, by the way. It's a good burger. Okay, here we go. Oh, I see the juice running. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'll let you know in a minute. It reminds me of something. And I'll tell you about that. I'll tell you about that after. Hold on, let me grab this real quick. Alright. So here we go. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna finish eating this. Sorry, did I have some? We're gonna go outside and we're gonna tell you what we think after we're done. Overall, it was okay. Um, I enjoyed the hamburger, but overall, really wasn't my favorite place to go. Catfish was uh, highly ranked on the reviews, but it's a bit soft and mushy. Um, not much flavor, not much seasoning. Um, French fries, frozen crinkle cut, no seasoning at all. Nothing to write home about there. But the burger, the burger sort of reminded me of Grandma's burger. It was a nice, homey feel to it. Nothing fancy, uh, but it had good flavor, and I definitely ordered the burger again. Okay, guys, so here's the deal. I know it's Burger Wars, so I'll talk about the burger in a minute. The catfish, I don't know how they won best catfish in Sumner County. Not a clue. Unless there's like nobody else selling catfish in Sumner County. It wasn't flaky like fish should be. The outside batter, I could, I, it's not that I didn't care for it. I didn't like it. It was bland. It was kind of crunchy in your teeth. Uh, there was no seasoning whatsoever on the entire fish. So I will never order catfish here again. But they're a barbecue joint. I love this place because of the barbecue. Okay, my potatoes. Do me a favor, guys. If you work for Top Hog or know people who work for Top Hog, buy them some seasoning. Their potatoes had no seasoning. French fries had nothing on them. Um, season the potatoes when they come out of the fryer. That'd be great. Now let's get to the burger because this is Burger Wars, okay? And I'm looking at um, a burger that I call the All American Burger. If I were to say, what's an American burger? Like we made one in America. That is the absolute epitome of an American burger. It was flavorful, the produce was fresh, cheese was melted, hearty, uh, charbroil taste on that burger, or a, a grilled taste, you could, you, could, you could feel it in your mouth. Uh, it's the perfect burger. Uh, it's not a gourmet burger, so it's not gonna get top, top ratings, okay? So I'm gonna give this place like a 42 out of 50, um, but it's a great burger. Do I love the burger? Yes. Is it Burger Wars? Yes. Don't get the catfish and try another side. Don't do the potatoes because they don't season them. There you go. Love you guys. See you on the next episode. Bye bye. Hey guys. Okay, so I'm driving home and I forgot one of the biggest high points about that burger. And I wanted to adjust my score a little bit. Because as much as I was disappointed in the potatoes and the catfish, I wasn't there for the catfish. I was there for the burger. So I'm sitting here thinking as I'm driving home. That burger was only $3.90? Are you kidding me? That's probably the best burger value in Tennessee. So whatever it was, I'm gonna bump it up to 45 out of 50 because that's the burger score. And you can't beat $3.50 for like one of the best all-American burgers I've had since I've been out here. Why didn't I give it a perfect score? It wasn't a gourmet burger. It had it been a gourmet burger with a higher quality meat or, you know, some other things and garlic aioli, mayo or something that brings it a step above, gets them up to the 50 mark. But I got to say, that was a 45 uh, out of 50. And the other stuff had nothing to do with the score. And I didn't, I didn't want to be honest. So that's it. I'm out of here. I just want to be true to what I do when I score. And now I feel better driving home that it uh, has the right score. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.